What is going on? Welcome to episode 173 of the Nintendo Powercast. We are doing this from a hotel room in Oakland. I got Nightcrawler with me. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? We're we're doing this live. We're doing this. Um, no music or anything. Guys, we're just doing this. We're doing this on the fly. So uh, a few of the things I saw yesterday, probably the most, uh, the thing that makes the most sense, Mario, Dr. Mario... World. World, world, which I'm not sure why world <laughs> makes sense. I have no idea, but uh, it was just a pic. All I saw was a picture. I don't think there was any gameplay. It says summer, so um, apparently the summer we're going to see Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart or and Doctor Mario World, and then I guess I've been seeing some different headlines that Nintendo is really wanting to use mobile to introduce their IP and get and get more eyes on their brand so cheaper and more money possibly made yeah yeah it seems like uh it it seems like a pretty good pretty good plan Dr. Mario is a great fit we're still kind of wondering how how Mario Kart 8 or 8 Mario Kart uh, tour. tour is going to work Control, but at least or something like that. <clears throat> but it seems like it even got that got delayed cuz it was supposed to be out this fiscal year so um Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like Dr. Mario World is a um, targeted for an early summer 2019 release. Uh, and it's coming out iOS and Android devices. And that's it. It's just a tweet. Yeah, There's... It, was, it was actually from Nintendo. It was retweeted by a bunch of different outlets and, and stuff. So we saw it yesterday afternoon. So it's it's from Nintendo's official account. Yeah, it says Dr. Mario World will be uh, co-developed by Line and NHN uh, Entertainment, and it will be free to download and include optional in-app purchases. So, you know, might as well use one of their uh, one of their one of their killer apps to. Uh, I mean, especially a puzzle game, it just makes sense. It makes sense with a phone. So, uh, the other thing that's kind of been the rumor mill this morning. I was looking at Discord. Pudding was typing a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, or putting a bunch of links in there is a a, a, a new skew for a uh, smaller um, more affordable switch kind of makes me think of uh, you know we may be seeing something that will finally replace the the 2ds 3ds line and wasn't wasn't one of I don't know if it's our the current president of Nintendo, or if it was the last president that said they were going to continue to make support DS until everyone had a Switch, pretty much like until it was a multi household kind of thing. So, this might be their effort to get less technical or ability to actually be a Switch. It's just a handheld, but can still play the games kind of, kind of marketing mentality so that they can have multiple switches in households and and eventually phase out that ds line so this comes from a, a japanese publication looks like nakai i'm not sure if i'm saying it correctly but uh, it's their reporting that nintendo is planning to release a smaller and more affordable version um, of its successful switch hardware um, although nintendo refused to comment nakai stated that the system would arrive as early as this year uh it, it looks it looks like it's pointing towards the the end of the year um according um to system suppliers a separate source said that the aim is to focus on portable play while omitting certain functions to reduce the overall cost of the unit so more than likely joy cons that would not um that would stay, that stay connected all the time yeah so um you know i mean hey if it's a little more kid proof i've said this before like like I'm for it, right? Because if they can, if if I can get my nephews, my nieces, that kind of stuff, systems that they can they can drop because that's what kids do. I think my my nephew's two DS. I think it took about six days before the screen <laughs> went out. As long as they don't make it look like the wedge, <laughs> just <laughs> just don't make it look that, that bad. Yeah, and I mean, I wonder, like, are they going to make it to where it could still fit into a dock? Is the screen going to be much smaller? Because all that kind of stuff lowers the lowers the price. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I guess. Um, other than that, that's kind of the the big oh, news. New, new Splatfest was announced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, guys. This is <laughs> this is great. 
pancakes or waffles. All right. What are you gonna What are you gonna choose? For the new, Can new we have a date for that new splat fest. Not, not, not obviously not this weekend, but is it next next weekend then? Looks like the date is the ninth. Yeah, next weekend. Okay. So next, get your get your get your shirt and start to start scrubbing your gear for the the low low price of two thousand two thousand squid bucks. Uh, let me check here. I'm just kind of going over. Like I said, guys, this is we're literally doing this from mobile. It's it's uh... <laughs> fun times. Yeah, War, War Group is out today. I have mine preloaded. I have not connected to the internet to unlock it yet, so we'll have to try that out later today. If you're outside of the states, um, Dragalia Lost is finally being released in the UK, Canada, and Australia. So if you're looking for a handheld RPG, that'll be that'll be. Uh, available for you your daily dose uh, gotcha <laughs> yeah yeah let's see if the date it looks like uh, i'm just skimming this article right now it just says it's scheduled for release so apparently it doesn't uh doesn't have Nothing the, the actual date it's just scheduled for release so there you go it's actually kind of a fun i mean the little bit that i've played it i'm like I feel like I'm gonna have to. I have to make a decision with this game. Uh, I'm either gonna have to go all in and spend money. Not necessarily spend money. Just put a lot of time into uh, it. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm not there yet because it, it's it's the little bit that I played. I, I really kind of enjoyed. But I'm like, is there's there, is there reading? The, there's there might be some reading. I don't know. There, there's some voice acting and some reading. I think so. It's pretty impressive actually for a mobile game. Um, so it looks like looks like more than eight million accounts have been subscribed to the Nintendo Switch Online. So, I'll pull up the sales numbers too. That's not a that's not a small number. So, I think I think we saw some sales numbers yesterday for. Uh, don't quote me exactly on the 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 number, but I think it was like twelve twelve point eight million copies or something. It's just under Brawl for most sold Super Smash Brothers game, uh, being Ultimate. And uh, so it's got a little ways to go, but Brawl did that in 10 years, and Smash did that in less than two months. Uh, so pretty good that way. And then yeah, didn't we see something about Odyssey? Odyssey has outsold. Um, here, so here we go. Here's a few numbers for you guys. Uh, wow. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is sitting at 15.02 <laughs> million copies. Odyssey, 13.76. Ultimate, 12.8. It surpassed Breath of the Wild, which is at 11.6. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are at 10 million. Splatoon is at 8.27. Uh, Super Mario Party is at five, over 5 million. 1-2 Switch is almost 3 million copies. 3 million disappointed people. Cow milkers. <laughs> uh, Aces is at 2.5 million. And Kirby, Kirby, Star Allies, almost 2.5 million. So, uh, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And Odyssey is now the best selling Super Mario uh, game ever. Ever. It surpassed, uh, it surpassed Galaxy. And so, yeah, just wild. Wild. I know I'm, I'm trying to find the numbers here, but Nintendo, they did not make the, the 20 million Switches sold in 2018. Uh, I mean, they still have till March, but I think they revised that number for the stockholders and everything to 17. And so my guess is that it's actually going to be... Um, Probably around like take your mics on. <laughs> As crawler leaves with the microphone. <laughs> rip, so, rip audio listening. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> so yeah, I got it. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this NPC mini, guys. Again, sorry for just like the low quality, uh, no production value, anything like that. But uh, we. We're, we're on the road, so we're making do. So thank you so much for listening. Thanks for tuning in live, guys. We will be, we'll be, we will be back later today. Um, 
talking about we have we play doubles in Smash today, so that's gonna be fun. We have our uh, Smash Bros. cast that we're gonna record later. Leo just walked in. He's got he's got singles here in in fifty minutes. so all right guys we'll see you in the next episode thanks so much for being here bye now